Welcome in. I'm Mark McLean. The shave of the day is just about here. Hmm. Boy, oh boy, am I looking forward to this shave. The reason being it's been, well, as you can see, about uh, four days. <laughs> yeah. I've been putting, putting it off, I guess. Been sort of busy, tied up, doing different things, running errands. We've got all kinds of uh, different things that's been going on. And uh, so here's to you guys. I'm glad you're here. Drinking my Lipton green tea again. That seemingly is the only drink of, of my choice that I can, or do prefer. Going to be using some Dapper Docs today. Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. Looking forward to this because um, this is one of the recent uh, shaving soaps I acquired along with its mate, the aftershave and cologne from PAA. And uh, an awesome buddy of mine, David, I tell you what, right now, this Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements is nice, but even nicer is the Doc Holiday on here. <laughs> Can you believe that? That is so wicked. Yeah, David, I'm looking forward to uh, to this shave, buddy. The scent is heavenly. I mean, wow. It's just like, this is... I chose two scents that were my favorites. This was one of them. We'll show you the other one some other today. Um, but I will say this, I am looking forward to it. I have that uh, soap currently blooming in some hot water, very, very hot water. I wanted to bloom it a little bit to see how it really came up and, uh, you know, accentuated my uh, sense of smell. I've got on some stash from Sally's Beauty Supply. Uh, this is just a beard oil that they produce and uh, for the beauty supply industry. And um, it's one of the products they sell. It's crafted for men, it says, and it's a beard oil. It's not a pre-shave oil, but I will say this. I've noticed that the pre-shave oils sometimes are a little more expensive because they say pre-shave on them. And they do about the same thing as what the beard oils will do. And that is protect your skin and uh, keep it safe from the blade, okay? Here we go. Always remember, respect the steel, right? <laughs> my buddy Rich Hansen says that. He likes that one. This is one of my favorite razors because this one got me started shaving when my dad trained me years ago and got me into wet shaving. Uh, this was a, a razor gifted to me by a buddy of mine who I'm very, very thankful, Jimmy Abbott. And uh, the blade I'm using today is a feather. I like the feather blades. This is a really nice blade. And uh, I'll tell you right up front, this is the second use for this blade. I put it um, put it back as a as a uh, one time use, and I thought I'm not going to throw that blade away. It's a good blade. It's a quality blade. It deserves a rebirth. <laughs> so I'm going to I'm going to give birth to it in just a minute. Oh, ever give birth to a razor blade? Would you rather slide down a razor blade and land in a bowl of alcohol, or would you rather go have sex with... Well, never mind. That's an old child game. I don't even play that much anymore. <laughs> I said much, okay? I'm not saying I didn't play it. I, you know, I'm just said anymore. Oh, man, this bloom water is heavenly. I'm going ahead and throwing it on, on, top, of, mm, on top of the pre-shave oil because it smells so nice. And look at this. It's almost ready to lather just by rubbing my hand in it. And that's how you can tell it's a good quality. So, of course, uh, another way you can tell, it's Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. <laughs> of course, that simple, All right? Okay, I'll tell you a little bit about that soap. Of course, it is PAA, as I just mentioned, which that alone says quite a bit, you know, therefore it's a good quality soap. But as I mentioned earlier, it does have Doc Holiday on the front, and I like Doc Holiday. Who doesn't like Doc Holiday, right? In fact, uh, Doc Holiday was many things they say, but one thing he was not was a slob. He was never a slob. He was a neat guy. Uh, he always dressed neat and uh, took care of himself, got his fingernails trimmed. Uh, he would always go into the barber and get a shave and a fingernail manicure, and uh, he was someone of a gentleman's gentleman, so to speak. Uh, anyway, he had rather refined taste for a gunslinger of his time. This according to what I see from PAA's website. Uh, also, he was known to be a very snappy dresser, and he did that. 
Sharp is his wit and style, just like this particular lilac and fig shaving soap. A classy scent reminiscent of Victorian times. And, you know, they say lilac and fig, and you think, oh, I'm not so sure I like lilac and fig. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. I don't know. That's what I thought, too. But then... Then I smelled this, <laughs> and I said, oh wow, I like lilac and fig. In fact, I'm almost loving lilac and fig. And that's sort of a, the response that I have given it. So far, so good. Uh, the say, they say the soap was originally just a one-off special soap that they created for Arizona Shavers' first meetup. I didn't know that, that's pretty wild. Somehow the word got out though, and one thing led to another. Soon they were receiving emails and messages and letters and texts and people saying, oh, this stuff smells nice, I really like that, that's so good, let me try some of that. And uh, you may smell lilac and fig and enjoy it this time around. Never thought I would. People change, I guess, scents change. And when I smelled this, I knew I had to have a shave with that stuff. Okay, my bowl I'm using today is my Red Cross bowl, the American Red Cross. Support them every chance you get, folks. This is uh, my soup bowl. I, I call it that. My I call it my soup shaving bowl. We'll be using that one today. So let's get a brush and get to work. What kind of brush do you say? Well, a little hot water never did a brush any harm if it was this big. <laughs> the Hulk. Yay. That's Rays of Rocks plus Soft. The Hulk. I am dipping it in hot, scalding water. I mean really hot, the kind of... It just sort of wafts up into your face because of the steam, you know? That's that's exactly the kind that you don't squeeze out by hand very gingerly because it's going to burn you. Okay, I'll shake it out. There we go. Now I'm just going to load her up. And I know that this... Uh, this brush will perform because it's magnificent. It does an excellent job. Razo Rock puts it out. If you haven't had the chance, then uh, look it up and find out more details about the Hulk. Um, the last I checked on their website, they have a delay in delivery or shipping. So that's okay. It's understandable. It's such a very popular brush. It's gaining in popularity. Okay, I have loaded that up fairly nicely. I didn't get it too wet. So uh, now, I will uh, get some hot water and add to the brush. Just add some drops. I forgot that was hot. <laughs> oh, dang, that was hot. Yeah, okay, yeah. <laughs> you learn and you burn. Or you learn or you burn, I don't know. I didn't learn, so I guess I burned. Okay, we're mixing up a... This is how I hold this bowl with my finger. Just mixing up a good lather right now. I'm going to turn on the faucet and get some more water that's not scalding. That's one thing about the water here where I live. It's just, I mean scalding, literally scalding. You have to be very careful. You have to warn, warn the kids anytime they go take a shower or a bath by themselves. You have to oversee them, the grandkids. Anytime I've had uh, relatives with their kids over, I uh, have to tell them and warn them as well because you don't want an accident occurring with that stuff. I mean, it is very, very hot and I don't like it that way. It's just how the apartment complex keeps it. Um, I might even just ask, put in a request for them to, to cut the uh, temperature. Although my wife seems to, to like it though. So that's the deal. That's the only reason I've left it that way so far. Oh, wow, this is a copious amount of lather <laughs> all over my shirt now. <laughs> it's a great brush. It is. It is that. Look at that. <laughs> well, folks. Just think if you splay it out over your face right there, it just almost covers your whole face. <laughs> it creates a suction, almost sucks your jaw back out. <laughs> That's funny. Boy, I'm gonna be shaving my eyebrows here in a minute. <laughs> that is, this is so awesome, man. I'm just, I'm still freaking out when I use this brush. 
<laughs> I wonder what Doc Holliday would have thought if the barber had whipped out a big old 34 millimeter knot and started slapping some lather on him. <laughs> he said, hold it now, boys. What y'all doing? What y'all doing? Oh, man, that's nice. So luxurious. Good stuff. It's got a hot hot lather because of the fact that I used hot water to stir it up and I have a little excess right there so I'll stick the brush back in the bowl add a little more water and I'm ready to go I know I don't know if you can see it or not but I'm wearing the remnants <laughs> a big old gob <laughs> funny that's okay we don't mind we love it good stuff all over my glasses. <laughs> Going to do the uh, downward stroke. Downward pass. Nice. I know what to expect with this razor because of the fact that um, I've used it several times in the past. Uh, I would call it a, a uh, whatever you want it to be type. Uh, shave with this particular razor. In other words, if you or you're looking for a more um, close to the bottom of the skin line <laughs> shave, then that's what it'll be. You know, if you're looking for a really aggressive shave, that's what you've got. It's just a, dependent upon the blade you put in this razor. That's sort of how this one works. So um, I got a, a, feather, a feather in it. Can't say shit today. Got my feather in and uh, it's doing a great job. I know what to expect though from it. That's what I use every time I can think of it with this particular razor because it does a great job and it sort of equalizes itself. It, feather is normally a rather um, Aggressive, I guess you'd call it aggressive or sharp blade. But I don't have any issues with this particular razor, so that's why I use it on this razor. Okay, just hunting for the beard line. I don't want to overstep the bounds there and uh, draw out my line. There we go. Doing the same on the opposite. A little across the grain stroke there. All right, above the mustache line. Both sides. And underneath, see that mustache here? Watch this. Knocks it right off. Reverse it, opposite side of the blade. Knocks it right off. And that's what I like about it. Not only do I rinse the blade in the, uh, the basin or the, the sink bowl, the bowl of water, whatever. Not ever, I mean, not only do I do that, but I also stick it underneath the faucet so the force of the water can rinse out the whiskers that are gathering inside this area under the cap. Someone asked me the other day, why don't, why don't you uh, fast forward through your shaves? <laughs> I talk too damn much, didn't you know? <laughs> no, I, uh, everybody has their own way of doing things, you know? This has been my way for over a year and a half. <laughs> Almost a year and a half. So I'm gonna keep on keeping on. Also, the fact that I, I do talk a lot, that's one thing, but I, I don't mean just talk. I uh, also try and give out various tips and things that I know, information, you know, informative, be a little informative. That's what I do. I mean, that's just me and everybody's different, like I said. 
doesn't mean it's a right way or a wrong way in this particular line. In wet shaving, there are no right or wrong ways. It's just whatever turns your crank, you know? What works for you may not work for me. Your mileage may vary. <laughs> That's true. Notice the, uh, still breaking this one in. A few little onesies come out here and there. A few little strands. It is a uh, synthetic brush, the Plus Soft Hulk. Rezo Rock does a great job. Surprised me, surprised the hell out of me when their uh, Plus Soft Monster came out. I loved it. Still a great brush. I use the hell out of it too. Notice I take it sort of gingerly now when I can remember to around the Adam's apple. Man, that's a great lather. Smells nice too. Look at that. So much lather in my beard area that I can still just spread it on down. <laughs> awesome. Tell you what I'm going to do now. <clears throat> I'm going to rinse out the, the whiskers. Makes for a more effective shave when you do that. I'm going to go right underneath the beard line. Just with the whisker and the lather I've gathered up from my whiskers. Okay, the reason being, I've said this before, and I'll say it again, <laughs> my, uh, my whiskers grow in a different angle on the neck. I've got like, these grow that way up there, and then when it gets down here, they start coming down this way, growing toward the Adam's apple. I don't know why that is right here. They're starting to grow toward the Adam's apple, but uh, up here, they grow backwards, weird. Man, I love this brush. It's gonna be hard to, to break it <laughs> and not to use this one, you know? I have to force myself to use the others. Right now, um, I'm gonna do that one more time across. The reason being is because of the fact I've told you before, it grows a little thicker underneath this area here, right under the beard line because I had a neck beard in high school. Uh, wacky kids, you know? You do things like that when you're growing up. Didn't, didn't realize I'd have to shave extra when I got older. Right there, you know? That was probably about all I could grow back then was a, a neck beard. <laughs> oh. But look at this. It's just still so much lather right there. <laughs> there you go, I'm ready again. Right now we're going to do the uh, upward pass. Great, great shave folks. This is really a nice one. This one ranks right up there with one of the, I guess with the best ones I've had in the, the past week or so, or the past two weeks, past month, hell. <laughs> All right. Now I'm gonna rinse off the the, <clears throat> the blade and put some more lather on. This is going to be just uh across the grain on the upper cheeks. Man, this is so great. And look at this, folks. Look, look at this. Can you believe that? It's amazing. Gosh, I'm serious. It is, it's just, it's amazing. <laughs> you gotta try this brush. You got to try this brush. 
<laughs> Never got stuff out of a can like this. Not to this quality. Not this quality ladder, no. <laughs> Especially not that smelled this way either. None of that stuff. Nope. Nope. Don't do it. Cross the grain right now. Right toward the mustache. Beer line right there. Doing the same right here. Once again. <clears throat> Gonna have to have a drink. <coughs> Hopefully, and not drink some <laughs> whiskers. Ah, getting cold. Someone asked me, is that all you drink? Yes, literally, it is. I mean, I may drink coffee, you know. I drink a lot of that, plus, <clears throat> not only do I drink a lot of it, I keep a mini fridge, a, an apartment st size or um, dorm room size miniature fridge beside my bed <laughs> I'll buy this the big cases of those and I I take my knife and I split the plastic and <laughs> like like a tic-tac-toe board and then I just shove it in sideways and just take it right out man I have just uh, got so much lather it's awesome now I'm just checking for spots right there's one as it grows toward the Adam's apple just getting that one. Sort of feeling my, my way around. There's a little one there that always grows toward the Adam's apple. And that is it. That. That is it. Wow. <laughs> How can you prolong this happiness anymore, you know? And what's, what's great is the fact that the feather blade is probably ready for another round. Literally, it really is. Okay. You almost have to take water to to get the uh, soap out of your out of your beard because there's so much soap. Yeah, you, know, you really almost have to rinse and rinse a few times just to to get that that copious amount of soap out of your beard. And that's okay. I don't mind. <laughs> I tell you what I did, and I just realized it. Um, I meant to say congratulations to the, the two winners in the recent contest. <clears throat> we, uh, we broke the 700 mark on our numbers and we thank everybody. I certainly do. Plus, I wanted to uh, say a special thanks to our participants, those who tried to win, those who uh, participated, those that watched uh, and listened diligently to the contest rules. Not only that, but to also... Uh, listening for the guy say, uh, I'm watching you, bro, and all the sound effect that you had to listen to. So uh, that means a lot to me, and I'm grateful, but also a special thanks to Philip Clegg, the winner of the razor, and to Rodney Mayberry, the winner of the knife. You guys are uh, a big part of me now, and I am thankful to have you as uh, subscribers and followers, not only in the wet shaving community, the knife community, and life in general, because that's sort of what I uh, do with my videos. Feather blade, ready for number three? True, but you know, hell, they're so cheap. I'll buy a new one. I'll put a new one in next time and use a brand new one. So two times is about it for me. You know, at the, at the rate I pay for these cheap uh, priced, inexpensively priced razor blades, why should I sweat it? Why should I worry about it? 
a 15, 25, 30 cent razor blade when I can buy, you know, a hundred of them for 10 bucks or, or so. <clears throat> There's no, no sense in, in that. Before I go any further, my EDC of the day, I forgot to tell you at the very beginning, this is the knife I'm carrying today, the Medford Praetorian T. Titanium knife with handles, awesome handles made of titanium. D2 steel, that's the steel D2. That's a tool steel for those of you wondering if you've heard of D2 tool steel before, that's what this one is. You can see the mirrored edge around the, the sharp point that uh, was sharpened with my business mirrored edges. That's the name of my knife sharpening business. Uh, no, I haven't started sharpening razors yet. I've sharpened two. <clears throat> And I did quite well. I'm just not um, adequately convinced that I'm ready to start charging for it, you know. So we're moving on and going to put on some dapper Doc, some Doc Holliday Artisan shaving. Mm. Oh, wonderful smelling aftershave cologne. Let me cap it back and give this the necessary shake that it deserves. And then, wow, now that's the scent right there. Oh man, this stuff smells so good. It does. Really, truly does. Man, that's awesome. I love it. 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 <laughs> and I, uh, I had to have some uh, post shave balm that I picked up. Jack Black's. That's it. That's what I'm using today to throw on immediately after this. And I really, I like this. I, I didn't get it adequate enough. So I'm going to open it back up and get a little more going on my arms. And uh, you're bathing in that crap. <laughs> and a little on my chest. <laughs> you know, hairy chest, it smells good on, right? <laughs> What works for you may not work for the other guy, but it works for me. <laughs> okay. Post shave bomb Jack Black. I like this stuff. It's got the jojoba and uh, eucalyptus in it. And uh, it will sort of kick off like a, a menthol feeling. Sort of a cool feeling, you know. But best of all, it will uh, help restore moisturizers to my skin that are needed and help rejuvenate, revitalize, moisturize. And that way, <clears throat> it helps me to maintain whole status. Whole status. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about right there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Feels good too. Thank you guys for watching. I thoroughly appreciate it. I really do. And I had a great shave. I enjoyed it. I mean, a fantastic feeling. I'm sort of laying around today, sort of, it's a holiday, Labor Day. Nothing much to do today. We did most of all the stuff we were going to do yesterday. So today is like, eh, I'm going to rest day. I've been watching a marathon of Leave It to Beaver <laughs> and kicking back enjoying myself and that's what it's all about enjoy yourself enjoy yourself and have yourself a, an enjoyable shave if you haven't tried wet shaving yet i challenge you let me know right down below i started wet shaving the other day because of you dude whatever i want to know if you're wet shaving if you're not then i want to talk you into it okay all right Again, thanks everybody for being here. I appreciate all of you, each and every one of you. Leave your comments down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. And don't forget to pay it forward. It comes back to you. It knocks on your door and it's a happy surprise. Yeah, pay it forward. Somebody else will be happy you did and I will too. Let me know about it if you do, okay? Thanks again and peace. <laughs>
welcome in, guys, the shave of the day.